Yeah. The Nebraska mission is, um, first of all, I had no idea that there was any Spanish-speaking people in there in the first place, but when I got my call to speak Spanish, I figured there was somebody there. They actually have entire towns of that are majority Spanish-speaking and in a lot of areas that just have a really high concentration of his, Hispanic um, people. Um, usually they're there to work at the meat factories or egg factories or um, agriculture. Um, usually when you're driving from one area to another, you usually take from one town to the next, take like 30 minutes to an hour, or hour and a half. And you see corn and corn and corn and soybeans and corn and corn. Um, so their crops aren't very, the, the view is not very diverse, but the people are, especially in the cities, are somewhat diverse. Um, I remember when I was in Sioux City, which is actually not part of Nebraska. It's, it's on the border between Iowa, South Dakota, and Nebraska. Um, that city alone I met, you've got Caucasian, Hispanic people who are refugees from different, different countries. You have plenty of um, Arabic-speaking um, people, um, lots of Native Americans, so from Sioux Tribe and other tribes around the area live in that place. So it's a pretty culturally diverse town. And I'd imagine Omaha is the exact same way. The, the main church history in our mission that we um, spent a little bit time delving into and usually talked about it, like zone conferences, was the um, was winter quarters. That's in our mission. So the saints, while they were traveling west from um, to Utah, they stopped at Winter Quarters in Iowa um, and Nebraska and stayed there for um, a little while before they continued west to Utah. And a lot of people stayed there. And in fact, enough church members stayed in Winter Quarters instead of going to Utah that um, more than half the people who, who live in that area are descendants from church members. Um, a, a good a good number of them, whether they realize it or not. Um, the mission covers most of Nebraska, parts of Iowa, a little bit of South Dakota and Kansas. Uh, the church presence in Nebraska, it's, it's definitely not as big as other places. Um, the one temple in the area is the Omaha, Nebraska Winter Quarters Temple, and that's where the entire mission goes to. Uh, even though the mission covers the entire state of Nebraska. In fact, if you're in certain areas of the mission, you don't go to the temple. I was in one zone for 18 months, and that zone was outside the temple boundaries, so I did not go to the temple for the first 18 months of my mission. And then got transferred to Lincoln, Nebraska, and they are close enough to take temple trips every six, every three months. Um, there's only so many Spanish-speaking missionaries, and so when it comes time for us to transfer from one location to another, um, we can we got it down to a science where we're going to go and who we're going to be with, because there's only so many areas. There's one Spanish ward in the entire Nebraska Omaha mission that's in Omaha. And there's three branches that are currently um, run by that are span for Spanish-speaking members. In fact, my first area, I was assigned to a, a branch that had been organized just the year prior. It was Spanish, Spanish speaking, and that's in, that was in Sioux City. The other one is in Grand Island, and I can't remember where the third one is. There's lots of other places where they put missionaries who can speak Spanish because there's you'll find enough people who speak Spanish in places like Storm Lake, Iowa, Denison, Iowa, um, Lincoln, Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, there's there's actually a lot of a lot of places. So there's the Sioux City Stake, covers a huge area. The Omaha Stakes, I think there's just one or two. Um, the winner, there's the Omaha Stake, and then there's just across the river in Iowa, you have the Council Bluff Stake. Um, Lincoln. Lincoln State covers Lincoln and all the outlying areas. There's the Kearney State. That's just west of Lincoln. And 
There might be one or two more, but that's about it. And the Spanish branch congregation in Sioux City. We, I don't know, I've got 60 people there, 70 people there on a good day. But that's, that's, while I was there, the fastest growing branch in the entire mission, so it could be much higher right now. Norfolk was a word I served in. It's an Eng for mostly English, but there's three his Spanish speaking families there. They're trying to get a trying to get a Spanish branch. That's their goal in the area. But we'd have over a hundred people about there attend every every Sunday. But of course the Enact the the list of the members who belong to that ward is probably like th three or four times the number who actually attend. Whereas in the Spanish branches, because they're more recent, there's not as many people that we know of who are members. Usually, you have seventy to eighty percent of the people who are on the ward list attend the the meetings.